better on microphone. Okay, can you guys hear me okay? I wanted to address some issues that's been going on, um, such as I've been getting um, a lot of messages about the Ron Jeremy uh, deal going on. Didn't know or I couldn't believe that Ronnie had done this to these girls, but there was really no reason for me to... Um, not believe them. I'm not one to discredit a woman saying she's been sexually harassed. Um, anyways, uh, you know, with all this going on with the Ron Jeremy deal, um, I actually had a really good friend of mine from the industry to call me and, uh, and told me that he had also raped her. So I, she wouldn't lie about it. Um, it kind of sort of made sense of how long ago it was and what all she lost for, um, I guess, telling the executives about his sexual demeanor towards her. Uh, anyways, um, it looks like that Ronnie may have done this to quite a few people, which kind of blows my mind because like I said before, we would hang out all the time and he never did anything like that to me. This is my problem with the whole thing though and I really hope you guys are listening because it's very important and I don't really like to talk about this um, this much. Um, or I, I don't even know if I'll speak on it again. And maybe if other people come forward. Who, I mean, it's nuts that L.A. County has a specific department and hotline for Ron Jeremy victims. That's how many there are. Um, it's absolutely crazy. Um, anyhow, uh, this is where I'm conflicted. So while uh, Ronnie and I were hanging out in Hollywood, lots of times I, we went to tons of people's birthday parties, like me, him, and my friend that's a hand model, us three all went to Tommy Lee's birthday party. And of course, if it's Tommy Lee's birthday party, there's tons of other people there too. Um, and... Uh, I mean, there was so many times we were at the Rainbow Room, and uh, it's just, we just ran into so many people, um, and so I guess that's why people have been asking me about my opinion on the Ron Jeremy thing, and the only thing that I can say is this, is that he never did that to me, however, it looks like he has done this to other people, and it saddens me. What also saddens me is that we being in Hollywood all the time and he never drove I always drove he got my car we'd go wherever um, he invited me to a get-together and it ended up at a pub it, we were at a public place um, and then it moved on to this person's home and it's not a porn star it's actually someone in the Hollywood mainstream click and um, so we go up to the Hollywood Hills and um, I was riding in a vehicle there was a couple of vehicles going up mine was parked I jumped in the car with someone you know there was a couple of uh, cars going up there and uh, I guess there were they wanted some mixers, some people wanted some mixers, and so uh, I was in the restroom of this home, and 
I come out and it was just me and this mainstream dude um, and it was his house and I was like where did everybody go and he says well they went down the hill to get mixers or something along the lines now Ron Ronnie had been trying to hook me up with this person and I, I would just wasn't feeling it I was like no but I had hung out with this person a few times and I just thought that they were cool and um, point being is that it ended up being me and this dude in the house alone which I had been alone with him in public but never alone with him at his house well he gets a phone call and I guess they had ran into some other mainstream friends down at this person's establishment and so he says okay we'll be right down so he says we have to leave and go back down to my establishment which I'm not going to name right now um, but it, before that happened you know, I was reaching over the couch to grab my purse when he bent me over and yanked my pants down and proceeded to rape me. Okay, so I was raped by a mainstream Hollywood person. Um, and of course I was startled and shocked and I said, you know, please don't do this. Um, I was saying anything like, I'm, I'm not on birth control. I don't, you know, want to have children, I, you know, I, I think I might have an STD. I, I was saying anything really to get this person off of me. Um, but they did pull out and basically my ass or legs or whatever and threw a towel, I wiped off, I pulled my stuff up, I was walking out the door walking down the driveway he gets in his car come on just get in the car I'm sorry this and that I thought you've been wanting this we've seen each other a couple of times and I'm thinking not in this setting and you know we're not on any god goddamn day so when we get back down to this person's establishment Ronnie's there and he's the one I'm closest to out of all these people and I pull him aside and I said I I have to leave. I have to leave because this person just raped me before coming down here. I, I don't even know why, you know, he would do this. I, I, I'm, I need to get the f out of here. And Ronnie seemed very sympathetic and was apologizing to me. And um, he said, well, let me, you know, walk you to your car, you know. And so looking at your comments no it it's not Tommy Lee uh, he actually ended up being really cool um, when I met him he probably doesn't remember meeting me but um, I did meet him at a place called Club Deep uh, on one of his birthday parties and I'm gonna tell you right now this year was circa um, 2002 2003 so I do I leave I flee and I told a couple of people about it. Um, I had told my old friend about it, which we don't speak anymore. Um, my mom was actually visiting in town when this happened. And uh, I came home. She asked how my night went. And I just lied and said fine. And I showered and, and went to bed. Um, However, I have Googled this person's name and they aren't on the Me Too list. No other girls have said that this person has done anything to them, but I find it hard to believe that I would be the only person this guy has done this to. Um, I know you guys are like, name and shame, name and shame. And I so want... To give his name um, I don't know why I don't maybe I'll call the Ron Jeremy hotline and tell them about this person 
Um, but all, all your guesses on here, it's none of those um, people. Uh, I guess what it is is that I just put it well behind me and when things are very traumatic for me sometimes I just put them in the back of my head I don't forget about them I just prefer to just not talk about them uh, but anyhow um, I'm a victim of someone um, in of Hollywood status being me and that's where the conflict is is that the one person who knew me and seen me as soon as at, right after it happened was Ron Jeremy. I mean, he would probably be the best person to corroborate my story, but yet they were friends. So I don't know if he would corroborate for me. That's, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. Yeah, I think I will report and, um, and then maybe I'll make a video and naming and shaming because I think this person's probably done this to many people and it I'll be honest with you when things like this happen to for, porn stars which I was at the time active fully in swing in 2002 2003 um, uh, you know they think well because you're a porn star you can't be it. well yeah you can no means no and mother you didn't have a test I'm a porn star responsible for having a clean test and a clean clean blood clean everything and he could have given me something of course I, I did the very next day go and get checked out and thank God I didn't have anything and then again I, I went and got checked out a month later to make sure that I wasn't pregnant by it um, but anyways uh, yeah so people uh, have this thing that if you're a stripper if you're a porn star I'm sure people think this way about burlesque dancers anybody in a risque or sex industry type business uh, we're overlooked we're not believed uh, you know and all I can say is that I didn't get paid for it I said no please don't do this you know, it's different if you're acting, oh, no, Mr. Pizza Man, but you know you've got a $1,500 check coming behind it, whatever. That wasn't the case. It was just a straight up, uh, mm, she's left here alone. I've hung out with her a couple of times. I want to get my rocks off. And this dude straight up got me, and I was reaching for my purse, bent me right over his couch. Nice ass Hollywood Hills home oh, with the pool overlooking all of Hollywood so um, yeah it just really sucks that the person I was by um, anyhow so that's what's going on and I wanted to really address this issue um, because I'm really I'm really tired of people coming down on industry adult industry workers um, strippers any kind of risque uh, entertainment business as if we're asking for it no we sign up we sign um, release form we get paid for it we're tested they are tested whoever we're working with everybody's tested and you know to me that was a big huge deal um, so anyhow, um, does anybody have any questions for me right now? I'm not going to name this person's establishment because it's a very big establishment in Hollywood and I'd really like to report it and then see if some... Did Ron Jeremy... Bill Cosby... <laughs> No, it wasn't Bill Cosby. Um, did Ron still continue to be friends with him afterwards? I don't know. I'm probably going to say, yeah, I think he did. I don't, he probably didn't discuss it with him. He's not a producer. He, he did act in some things, but he owns, inherited a business in Hollywood. Yes, they are. Um, 
a household name, not a restaurateur. Um, it was not Danny Masterson. Uh, even though he's in some deep right now, too. He's on up there with Ron Jeremy, it looks like. Um, who, who do you think it is, Manchester Red? It was not Roseanne. <laughs> but if you think of Roseanne, if it's Roseanne Arnold, if you want to... It is kind of that genre of her genre. But no, this was a guy with a d who decided that he would take what he wanted. It's 2020 where Kanye's running for president now. And don't get me started on, on all of that. I'm officially right here, right now, endorsing Henry Rollins, if that's the way we're going to go. I think Henry Rollins needs to run for presidency. Um, I don't know what kind of reper... I mean, there would be some repercussions, but I'll be honest. Anytime I've ever reported any kind of um, sexual advancement, like when I got... Not when I quit working as a surgical tech. Well, one, I was a student as... Be, becoming a surgical tag, but once I was working as one and my my uh, boss hit on me, uh, they didn't do anything because I was had been a porn star, so I'm uncredible. You know, but everybody takes politicians' words to the T. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the person who did this to me's uh, name is... You guys... Couple, uh, let's see who guessed it. Oh my gosh, okay, so. Yeah, that mother's name, y'all done typed it up in here. But it's not Tom Arnold, it's not Patrick Duffy. I'm not sure who Mikey Avalon is. Well, if you look back at the comments, a couple of you guys asked if it was him, and yeah, I hate even seeing his name written on my face. Instagram to be honest with you but I'm just kind of hoping that if I'm able to uh, maybe report this and other people would come out and then I can say yeah this was that mother it wasn't Andy Dick I think he's gay but I'm not sure or bisexual I'm pretty sure that I'm not this dude's only victim I mean uh, let's just face it, I'm, I'm not Jenna Jameson or, you know, I'm not Ginger Lynn. So, just, you know, I was just at the time and been in the industry a couple, two, three years when, or four years since this had, when this had happened. So, I was pretty much a nobody. Um, I mean, I would think compared to the other big name girls. And, you know, it wasn't a Tara Patrick or anything like that, but. You know, um, if he would do it to me, who else would he do it to? And let me tell you, no guy would f this guy in their right mind anyways, unless they truly loved him or they fell in love. But I, I don't I don't see this person being lovable at all. Uh, do I think Ron set me up? Uh, no, he did try to set me up on a date. And he's like, okay, kids, have fun. You know, the first time I hung out with this person. And again, it was in public, and we did have fun. We laughed, we had some drinks, whatever. I left, you know, went home. Uh, but I don't think he set up but the, that I was a victim of someone in Hollywood status that me, and I don't feel like I'm the only person he did this to. And I think maybe as soon as I report it, then I'll, then I'll go live with it, because you know what? I'm not ashamed. I'm not a f gold digger either. He could take his money and shove it right up his ass. But if it was to help anybody he'd done this to before or to stop him from doing this to anybody else in the future, then my purpose is served.